Solutions Institute. My name is Scott Fromey. What we're going to cover here in this uh, video is a little bit of rabbit hunting. Today it's about the 24th of January. This month has been crazy with the weather. We went from around Christmas time the first part of January is in the teens and the 20s. I don't think it went got above 32 for probably a good several weeks there. Then all of a sudden it just decided to warm up. Um, and now it's going back down into the teens and, the, and we're supposed to be getting snow tonight. But right now it's close to 50 degrees out. And it actually is raining up, pushed me into the barn here. So well, I'm going to talk a little bit of some rabbit hunting. Some of you guys have been rabbit hunting, some of you haven't. Uh, maybe have some interest in it. It, it helps for one is to have a, as a good beagle dog maybe or a, a good dog to run some rabbits. And beagles seem to be the the choice for rabbit hunters it seems to be at least around this parts uh, don't take much I mean if the, if the dog is fairly decent don't have to have a fancy dog with papers and all that but um, and they tend to pick up fairly well and they don't need to be trained that much as far as uh, rabbit and hunting get them on a trail get them started and uh, if you can get them hooked up with another dog maybe they can learn off a, off an older dog and uh, I have two dogs. Uh, like I said, I, I run them, you know, off and on all, all year long, and and I really don't have to do a whole lot of work with them. They're pretty good dogs. I, I hate to brag about them, but they're, they're pretty good dogs. They need to really be run harder, but they don't always get, get a chance to it. But uh, as far as the equipment goes, I mean, you want to have, obviously, law by law, you have to have orange, this orange hat on. And especially if you're hunting with other hunters, you know, that's pretty well just a no-brainer as far as safety work. Maybe uh, you can see here I got some uh, oil skin chaps that I, I usually work in these or not use them and they cut through the briars pretty good. So a lot of times you're in the thick of it too with them and uh, helping the dogs out or moving across with into the briars. A good heavy coat on to break the briars. Like I said, you're in the, in the thick of it. And... Uh, so all the clothing wise is, dictates, you know, it's have a lot of height on your legs and, and your arms. As far as uh, hands go, I carry a um, lightweight leather gloves with no fingers in it. And that's just to save save the back of my hands. Today I didn't, I didn't put them on. It's so dang on hot out there. But uh, it helps get, get your hands all uh, scratched up, which I don't know, you probably can't tell, but my uh, backs of my hands are pretty well scratched up from going through the briars and everything today. Um, as far as a firearm or a, a harvest uh, rabbits with, basically any shotgun will, will do. 410 actually works really nice because you, you know, that's a nice light load. It don't take much to get a rabbit most of the time they're fairly close anyway so um, what I uh, harvested some of these today with are used is uh, I got my it's a 12 gauge uh, it's got the sharp barrel on it I like it because I can wield it around in the brush don't get all tangled up with a longer barrel so the firearm of my choice as far as as rabbit hunting, you know, as far as I go, is what I have is is this this shotgun here with a with a short barrel, and uh, it's got multiple chokes on it. You don't need very tight choke for rabbits because, like I said, they're running, they're close. Uh, I usually put on the improved cylinder choke in there, and some light load number six shells. That's pretty well it. Just game loads. I don't really like to use seven and a half. Some guys use seven and a half, but that's a little small. Uh, the bigger the BB, I've used bigger ones, but the you know, problem with the, using a bigger BB on a rabbit is, like a five or a four, you'll have a tendency to pull hair in you know, to the meat. So you know, you're digging out, you're digging out hair with it. So I'll, sixes work fine. So that's what I normally use, and they're pretty well, you know, as far as 
12 gauge is fairly economical. You know, that's a pretty popular load, so you, you can buy them fairly cheap as far as shells go. Uh, if you get into some like 16 gauges and stuff like that, and a 410 seems like there's, it's not that popular, so you're going to be spending a lot more money on on, on shells. So I, uh, 20s and 12s. Today I hunted with my, my nephew Austin, and he was using a 20. So uh, uh, 20 and 12 seems to be the most economical load with light loads. Number six is, that's usually what, what I prefer. As far as that goes, maybe a good vest, you know, is to carry, your, to carry the rabbits in. Like I said, it don't take a whole lot of equipment-wise to, to go rabbit hunting. You don't need dogs. You can... You can do it without dogs. Uh, it's just a lot easier because if you're um, jumping them up, you know you can shoot them when you when you jump them up, or you can track them in the snow. A lot of times when the guys that I you know I've done myself, you know after snow early in the morning, go out there with the 22. You can kind of track them down a little bit, and you can see them sitting there in the, in the, in the briars a lot of times in the nest, and, and shoot them with 22. So it, it's just like I said, rabbit hunting is, is not that difficult. It's kind of fun. I like to listen to the dogs uh, running myself. What I'll go ahead and do is let you guys, while I'm getting set up here, I'm going to let you guys, I did carry the camera today with me and got some hunting shots, you know, videotaping some of the, of the hunt. So uh, while I get set up here, I'll let you guys catch some of the hunting action that I had this afternoon. <coughs> Music to my ears right there. You got him. Hold him up. Okay. Jump. 